five. This is second power. How are you? Fine. Okay. Uh, dear students, in the last classes we learned about the uh, qualities of a good leader. Yes. Then uh, in the today's lecture we learn the leadership styles. Okay. In the today's lecture we learn about what the leadership styles or the styles of leadership. Okay. The styles of leadership. See, uh, there were different or the several bases for classification of. Leadership, but the most popular classification is based on the authority. Yes, the most popular classification is based on the what? The authority. That means the how uh, individual he or she use that authority. That is the main thing here. Then uh, on the basis of that use of authority, we classify the leadership styles into three types. Okay, broadly on the basis of the uh, how the person or individual he or she use the authority on the basis of that we classify that the leadership styles into three types. Say uh, we learn that one by one. So first one, autocratic or authoritarian leader. Yes, the first leadership style is what autocratic. Or authoritarian leader. See, the name itself explains that autocratic or authoritarian. Okay, autocratic or authoritarian. That means here what the manager, the manager of the business organization plays the very dominant role in the business organization. Okay, the manager of that business organization. Plays what very much the dominant role in the business operation. Okay, dominant role that means here what he says. Okay, what he says or what he directed that is followed by the the followers or the subordinates. Okay, that is followed by the the followers or the subordinates and this type of the leadership styles. Communicate in the one-way manner. Okay, that means here there is a one-way communication in the this type of the leadership styles. So why? Because one way that means here what the manager says that is just accepted and adopted and followed by the subordinates. Okay, that's all. That is that is the main reason we are saying that is only uh, that the manager plays the very much dominant role in the business operation. Okay. इले बिजनेस ऑर्गनजेशन ऐन आटोक्रेटिक अथवा अथारीटियल लीडर अभी सर्वाधिकार अभी इन सर्वाधिकार अभी म्यनेजर ऐन मोर पवर्फुल मोर डमेंट आगे सो इन आत ऐन आर्डर अद्वान आत फॉलोवर्स अथवा सबॉर्डिट्स फॉलो सो आता अद्वान कार्यवान अद्ले कार्यवानु सो दीति कम्युनिकेशन अंतर वन वे कम्युनिकेशन अभी जस्ट टाप मेनेजमेंट ऐन अद्ले फॉलोवर्स अडाप्टर कड़ी ये अपेक्ष कम्युनिकेशन इलाती ओके सो जस्ट आर्डर अंड फॉलो दि आर्डर Then, how can I so? What is the uh, advantage of the uh, that type of literacy? That means, see, it is very essential for the for the productivity. Okay, more essential for the productivity. That means, see, you know, the autocratic or authoritarian leader expect the more productivity. Okay, that means uh, his or her. Target is only on the more productivity, and getting the more productivity is possible due to authoritarian or uh, authorit autocratic leadership. Okay, but at the same time there is one uh, disadvantage. Which one is that? That means that not respect the subordinates' ideas. Okay, that does not respect the what the subordinates' ideas. That is one big disadvantage for the autocratic or authoritarian. Leader, okay, yes. 
then next one democratic or participative leader yes the next one democratic or participative leader here the name itself explains that is democratic or participative participative that means here the subordinates are allowed to participate in the decision making okay the followers or subordinates are allowed to participate in the decision making okay so here the manager respect the ideologies or the suggestions of the subordinates okay the manager respects what the ideologies or the suggestions or guidelines from the subordinates and he consider he or she consider that means the manager consider the suggestions feedbacks or any guidelines from the subordinates while they take the decisions regarding the business activity okay yes डेमोक्रेटिक अथवा अथवा पार्टिसिपेटिव लीडरशिप स्टाइल मेनेजर ऐन आर्गन डिसन तेजारेट इनवाने मेनेजर
these styles are considered okay so then uh, these are the what the styles of literacy in the uh, read manner and uh, if you have any doubts regarding this please comment on this say i will try to help okay thank you